beautiful Toronto right now, riding in uh, a limousine on the way to the hotel, and I've just for the last five minutes been conversing with my driver Monty here, and I want Monty to share a little bit about uh, you know his story and what he thinks about entrepreneurship and working for someone else. So. Without further ado, I want to turn a bit of the light over to Monty here. We've got uh, the music turned down and, you know, Monty and I are just talking about why he does, you know, well, Monty, maybe add to that. Why do, you know, you're in the customer service business. Right. Why, why do you do what it is you do every day? Well, for more than a reason, actually, because something I really like to do. And the other thing, I have uh, three daughters and three of them, they're going for their high education. I want to make sure they have something better in life than what I have and make life easy for them. I think that's why. Excellent. And what, you know, if, you know, as you do your day-to-day -day duties, what's the most inspiring part about doing this job? Is it the meeting the people or, or what, what really is it that, that, you know, compels you to be better at your job every day? It's that you're going to like and you're going to do what you like from the heart, you know, and that's what I am here for. Something I always wanted to do is to drive a limo. Even though I had a convenience store for 10 years, but this is something I always wanted to do and I'm doing because I love people and I enjoy driving. So that's what I'm doing right so now. So do what you love, basically. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the money will come, is that? The money will come and you got to do it from the heart and honest way, you know, that's the main thing. Uh, what would you say is the is the biggest obstacle that you face every day running this business? Uh, to be honest with you, all what I want is to get my customer to their destination, safe and sound, and just to enjoy uh, the hour I spend with them and get my uh, self home safe the end of the night. You know, so that's my goal of the day. Excellent, and Monty. What? You know, if someone was getting into a customer service type business or, you know, in this society and the way that the world is, is evolving so quickly, what would you recommend they get into for education? For education, first of all, no matter what you're going to do in life, it's all customer service. No matter what job you do, from being a driver to being a cashier to being a doctor, no matter what you do, it's all customer service. Excellent. It just matter uh, how you do it and uh, like I said you just gotta like what you do and studying is always good that's your woman in life you need that degree always to be with you no matter where you go you always have that woman we say with you so so you think that having the schooling as just a base and going off because it takes a lot of courage to be an entrepreneur does it not absolutely and that's the icing on, on everything when you have that uh, education right you know, that's what you gotta go far in life, having good education. And th this is a real thinker, but if you passed away tomorrow, what do you want to be remembered as? As, to be honest with you, as a good, fun, uh, happy man, you know? <laughs> and uh, I always been that way, so I'm happy with that if people rem remember me as good, happy, and. Uh, Hard-working man, you know, so I always done that. So. Well, folks, you've heard it from Monty, our limo driver.